Hello students welcome to english lecture today we will discuss how english is important for our career you know that english has been an international language so it has a global importance in day to day life we have to communicate through english to have a rapport with so many people they are from different states different countries and anywhere you can use this language as a communicative language so english is an international global language and that is its importance now english has become language of business in trade and industries you have to use this language whether you are using it in correspondence means through letters or whether you are using it in day to day life this has become an official language of administration in many countries so there are so many offices administrative offices and there you have to use this language this has become a language of court so this has become a language of law and order and that's why you have to use this language whenever you are studying any case or you are appealing in court this has become a language of the media industry also so many words we use even in marathi because we are using them as technical words and they have become very popular so this language has become a language of media industry because in medias we use so many words which are popular and which are famous language of the internet now you know that on internet whenever we use internet and we do some activities then we have to use this language this has become a language of research so many scientific papers they are expressed or they are explained through this language this has become a link language it links to the world then it has become a language for an access to multiple cultures for example values music literature films if we have to study the culture of other countries then we have to use this language and mostly this has become a part of our educational system so without english you cannot pass any degree, degree. it has become a compulsory subject in various curriculum and that's why it is very important for us students it is our duty to improve our language because if language is good then your communication can be good so your personality depends how you use language now how to improve your english skills skills in english language most important advice is to do anything but above all have a fun so without any fear in mind about english that this is a foreign language that oh, we cannot use this very spontaneously or very correctly this has a fear there has been a fear in our mind but we should avoid this fear and we should be confident and we should use this language as our daily language so have a fun have a fun with language make it your hobby not a chore means mechanically don't use this language it should be your hobby means you are taking interest in using this language then only this language can be yours there are many ways to improve your level of english but only you can find the right way for you 
Of course, so many people tell us how to improve English. But it is up to us how to improve our English. Because we know our limitations. We know our strengths. So, the ways to improve English can be your, your choice only. Here are a few ways that might help you. So, I want to tell you so what to do to improve your English. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. We often have a fear in our mind that if we do mistakes, then others will laugh. So, don't hesitate to make mistakes. You do mistakes because to err is human. And that's why if you do mistakes, then you can correct them and you can improve your language. So, be confident. People can only correct your mistakes when they hear you make them. So, unless you do some mistakes, you cannot improve your language. And that's why do mistakes without any fear. Surround yourself in English. Your surrounding should be English. Means you should speak with others. You should listen to English. Then you should read English and you should write English. So, surround yourself in English. Put yourself in an all-English speaking environment where you can learn passively. So, you, are, you should listen to so many people, whether through YouTube, whether through channel or whether you are friends. You should speak, speak and speak and you should listen, listen and listen. The best way to learn is through speaking. Practice every day. Makes yourself a study plan. You must have a study plan. Yes, today I will talk about this topic. Tomorrow I will do this. In this way, you should have a study plan. Decide how much time a week you are going to spend studying and stick to it. So you must have a plan and you should spend some time for it. Establish a routine. You must have a routine. Tell your family and friends about your study plan. Because what happens? You have your own plan. But you don't tell to your parents and to your friends. So what happens? They cannot support you. Because they don't know. So get them to push you to study. And also don't let them interrupt you. Practice the four core skills. There are four important skills. Reading, writing, speaking and listening. They all need to be worked on for you to improve. So focus on these four language skills. Listening first. Listening comes first. And then speaking. And then reading. And then writing. So you must focus on these four skills while improving your language. Especially English language. Now what can we do? To improve our English, keep a dictionary and thesaurus handy. So whenever you are reading some new article, whenever you are reading some new essay or any poem, then you will come across some different words which are unknown to you. They are not difficult, but you don't know them. And that's why we need a dictionary. So here, you can use a very good dictionary. The dictionary should be good dictionary because if it is uh, English to Marathi, then you will only have the understanding of Marathi meaning. But if you have dictionary with you, English to English, then you can get so many other words which are similar to that meaning. And that's why this keep a dictionary and thesaurus. Thesaurus means what? There are synonyms. Similar words are given there. Learn minimum 10 words a day. So you, have, you must have a plan that I will learn 10 new words every day so that I can improve my vocabulary. And you have to use them. Don't keep in your mind only. Use them in sentence. Use them while speaking. 
so that you can use them correctly. Use internet and technology. Now, internet and technology is at your hand. So, take advantage of it and use this internet and use this technology to improve your English language. There are so many YouTubes, there are so many um, programs on internet which can improve your English. Use English whenever you can. Suppose you are in the company of friends. Then at that time, without any fear, with confidence, you should use English. Whether you do mistakes, let it be. Practice the four core skills. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. Don't worry about making your accent perfect. Sometimes we are afraid that we cannot speak like foreign foreigners. Okay, their accent is foreign, foreign accent and that is appropriate because it is their native language. For us, it is our second language or for us, it is foreign language. So, don't focus on accent. It, they will improve automatically. Always be prepared for your class. So, suppose you are attending any class, then you must be prepared. So, what was the yesterday's topic and now what what is going to be in the class today so in this way you must be prepared for that so that you can improve your english try to tell stories small stories you you can tell your friends so that your narrative technique your narrative skill that can be improved Speak clearly and loudly. Whenever you speak English, then speak clearly and loudly. Use proper tenses and learn auxiliaries. So this is very important because sometimes we do mistakes in using tense. So your tense must be perfect and you should use proper tense and learn auxiliaries, use of auxiliaries. What are auxiliaries? To be, that is am, is, are, was, were will, shall, then do, does, did, have, has, had, all these are auxiliaries and you must know the use of these auxiliaries. Increase vocabulary. Day to day you should find out some different words and use them so that your vocabulary will be increased. Then you must know idioms and phrases. There are so many figurative sentences, idioms. So, tit for tat. As you sow, shall you repay. So, in this way, all these are idioms and you must know how to use them. Don't hesitate to make mistakes. So, often you will do mistakes initially, but later you will be correct. And that's why do mistakes. Don't just translate your thoughts. Sometimes we do this, use this translation method, you know. Whenever we think in English, then only we can use English. Otherwise, if you think in Marathi and if you translate it in English, then what happens? That it is not spontaneous and sometimes it is incorrect. So, don't just translate your thought. You think in English. Observe others how they speak. This is another method or this is another way how to learn English. Then observe others how they speak, how do they pronounce the sounds so that you can use English properly. So students, I hope this lecture will give you motivation to improve your English. You will be inspired through some YouTube programs which will focus on how to improve English. So go through that. Listen to them because you will listen to the sounds and you will listen to the words also and that's why they will help you how to improve your English. I hope you might have understood some ways to improve English and you will adopt them you will use them in your daily routine. 
आई होप सो विथ दैट होप आई टेक युअर लिव थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच